innovation when innovation and the importance of innovation in our cities has never been more critical. Cities across the country are vying to bring in the best and brightest. One city is getting talent from all over the world, and it's a place I have a soft spot for, my hometown, Miami. NBC Sam Brock is here with us. Sam, it's also your town. It's good to see you this morning. So Miami, a magnet for so many things, tech, one of them. I thought you might like this story. <laughs> and yes, if you think about it, Miami is perfectly positioned culturally and geographically as well for being in this ability to connect across continents, really what we're talking about. So businesses, entrepreneurs and couples are seeking out South Florida in a way that many never imagined. Now, since the pandemic, of course, there's been this narrative about VC companies and cryptocurrency, fintech exploding here, but it's been innovators in digital health and art from across the globe, creating thousands of jobs and generating billions in the process. Miami's always had a penchant for the splashy with the headlines to match. But at the epicenter of this hot new tech hub, the face of the tech revolution might be a little more family friendly and far reaching than one might expect. Francisco Cornejo and his wife, Danny, developed the storybook app in their home country of Ecuador. Uh, these ones are really popular as well. At a time many people and children were going through a period of disconnection with the pandemic. There was a lot of anxiety and Tanita was uh, really smart uh, by putting together a series of uh, stories uh, to talk about emotions mm. or okay to feel angry or how to teach kids about these, these things. The combination of stories, infant massages. I want you to enjoy. And affirmations. You are important was an instant success, driving millions of downloads. The only question for the Corneos, where to set up shop? I think somewhere around uh, San Jose, San Francisco. So Miami wasn't even on the radar? Not even on the radar. Maybe it should have been, because behind the colorful walls of Wynwood, you'll find an equally vibrant tech happy hour on a Wednesday, regularly drawing hundreds there is definitely like a growing like excitement around tech and it's not the same old san francisco boring tech event that you're used to the span of tech spaces is striking ellis marshall works in agriculture simulating california crop conditions here in miami's little haiti what kind of conversations are you having at an event like this um, at an event like this i'm meeting with a lot of people that are in in uh, analytics they're in uh, automation much of this activity springboarded by groups like Emerge Americas, which just hosted its annual event, keynoted by Tom Brady, and hosting 20,000 people from 50 different countries, including Francisco. I'm the co-founder of Storybook. Who was recruited in Quito, Ecuador, and symbolizes their success story. Since its launch in 2014 and up until the pandemic, Emerge has helped create more than 7,000 jobs and 1.3 billion in economic activity. And that doesn't even include the last few years. The incredible acceleration and growth that has happened between 2020 and now 2023, I think it's very safe to say that those numbers have at least doubled. The multi-continent tech boom, reconfiguring what's possible in Magic City. I think there's a, a ripple effect when you see someone pursuing their dreams. That gets you thinking, well, I, I can do the same. Now, what is really remarkable about this, too, is the public-private partnership and the investment component. Miami-Dade gave Francisco a $50,000 grant. Now, on the private side, Google, through its Latino Founders Fund, awarded a $100,000 grant to him and $100,000 in cloud credits. And those efforts are leading to more outcomes like storybooks here in Miami, Jose. A city that you and I both call home and that there is no way anything in Miami can ever be boring, right? Not but Whatever your expectations may be, throw them out the window in Miami. Sam, thank you. It's great seeing you. Before we